From the east of spring's awakening breezes to the south of summer's passionate heat to the west of autumn's purifying waters to the north of winter's regenerative earth. I open this reading by invoking the muse, O divine posy, goddess, daughter of Zeus, sustain for us these messages of inspiration. Make this reading live for us in all of its many bearings, O muse. Hello, beautiful muses. If you're like me, you cannot believe that August is already approaching or here, depending on when you're seeing this. July has just flown by for me. Okay, diving into August, sort of getting into mid and end of summer energy, at least in the Northern Hemisphere. We've got four different piles to choose from. Um, Pile one, we've got number 37 of the hexagrams with extended family, wind above, fire below. And I love these sort of like ferns. It feels like some camping energy there. <laughs> that feels very summery to me. And then pile two, we have the 21st hexagram with cutting through. It looks like a little bit of Thunder, yeah, I see. So fire above, thunder below. So very fiery energy. That makes me think of those um, mid to late summer sort of, at least where I live, we get a lot of thunderstorms um, at this time of year that just kind of breeze in and out real quickly, but seem to appear often. Okay, pile number three, we have the 19th hexagram with the approach of spring, earth above, lake below. I love the imagery on this one. So people may be feeling like a rebirth or some new kind of energy coming through at the moment. And then the last pile, pile number four, we have the 10th hexagram with treading carefully, sky above, lake below. Okay, so those are your four piles. I'm just going to kind of clear their energy with a little bit of sage. Call in any of the muses and guides and ancestors that we need for the best guidance. And also, um, before you jump to your pile, which I will take you through a, a breath, I know some of you like when I do that, um, I am going to do a mini, a mini reading per usual with the month readings for each astrology sign. And since August has the majority of, of its energy with Leo ruled by the sun, this is going to be by sun sign. So that would be, you know, when you go to like a magazine or an app or you, your Instagram astrologer and you want your horoscope, that's that's the sign, the sun sign is talking about. So it's dependent on the time of year you were born. So stay tuned directly after this intro section, we will jump straight into those by sign, really quick, you know, a couple minute per sign, little um, kind of big picture energy for that sign that might be coming through. And then you can layer that into or on top of the pile you choose, which will allow us to each have like a, a slightly more personalized reading, being able to layer our sun sign into our pile. Um, okay, so if you need some time with these cards, Feel free to pause here. I'm gonna take you through a breath that you can continue to do a few of them on your own um, just to help tap you into uh, inspiration, guidance, and your higher self. So take a deep breath in, hold at the top, kind of focus your energy between the brows of your eyes, even suck in a little bit more to put pressure there. And then a big exhale out loud, ah, oh, which opens the crown chakra, inviting in inspiration. So pause here if you need time to do a few of those or time to generally just fill into the piles, which 
colors, titles, numbers, whatever it is, elements that are calling to you. And I will see you next in your um, sun sign mini reading and then followed by your pile. And all of those will be down below in the timestamps to jump straight to those. All right, see you guys. Hello Aries and welcome to your August mini reading. We're just gonna do a planetary dice to see which planet might have a message for you and then kind of look at um, some of the messages coming through. Sorry, that was my dog. Um, okay, so let's see. You've got Mercury trying to come through. So literal messages, be watching out for information, messages, um, little synchronicities. Let's see what these might pertain to so you can be more aware of, of uh, things trying to come your way. So you've got the cat, speak your truth, have strength, faith, and conviction in your voice. It has never been more needed. So maybe this Mercury is trying to get you to share information you have, share truths you have. And so look for little signs, um, you know, it, in nature, in coincidences that happen that relate to things that are on your mind that you've been wanting to share but haven't really found the right time or the right clarity of, of voice. There's little things in, in your environment that will kind of help to show you the right timing to share your truths, your you know, information you have little tidbits find connect you know connections through those things as well and then just a quick little tea leaf beautiful butterfly a change for the better coming so something some truth that you're feeling right now that you really need to share and speak and use as a way to connect uh, wants to bring in a, a really light beautiful expressive type of colorful type of change into your life so that's really beautiful okay next up is Taurus okay Taurus we're just going to roll a planetary dice to see which planet is trying to get your attention in August and then look for little messages it might have for you so Venus pleasure beauty this is your ruling planet anyway so um, your your ruler has a pertinent message about something about beauty about value about pleasure in your life let's get some little hints around what this might be about hair strength take time to make clear decisions bring awareness and light to the situation okay and pale time to get out of a situation so situation is brought up twice so you really need to tap into venus to figure out the truth about what what kind of there is there a situation in your life that is no longer bringing you a sense of beauty value and pleasure where it's time to sort of make decisions about that and get more clear about it. Time to put yourself into situations that feel more pleasurable, that value you more. Something to look at. Okay. All right. Next up, we've got Gemini. Okay, Gemini, we are going to roll a planetary dice to see what planet in August has a special message for you? Saturn, okay. So it may be a month to kind of buckle down and focus for you guys. <laughs> okay, and then you've got the horse, free spirit. Give yourself the space and freedom to express your creativity. And then a fortune card archway new op opportunities possibilities and paths opening up so this is interesting because both of these cards the messages saturn want to bring you are sort of about freedom and 
yeah, looking, charging towards the new, but Saturn is about kind of taking on responsibilities and buckling down. So there may be kind of this push-pull for you. There might be something that's um, weighing heavy on your shoulders that you still need to give um, integrity and your responsible focus to, but you also need to prioritize time to um, this is like about balance to me. You also need some time to play. You need some time to be creative. You need some time to unwind. So don't, to me, this is the message is like, don't get overly serious or overly bogged down in something. Um, give this, whatever this responsibility is that is in your life, give it its time, but create boundaries around it. And when it's had its time for the day it's time to really go shake some energy off and get a little bit a little bit wild um, you know the horse in Chinese astrology is connected to the sign of Gemini as well and um, this need to move you guys really um, get your inspiration and fill yourself when you're moving a lot so a lot of walks or jogs or running or just playing you know active playing recreation that feels like it could be, you know, things that bring possibilities and openings for you because you're in your energy doing that. Okay. All right. Next up, we have the sign of Cancer. All right, Cancer, we are going to roll a planetary dice to see what planet has a message for you guys in August. The moon, this is your own ruler. So that's going to be um, very important to you in August. It's always important to you, but it's like doubly so. Something going on here. Peacock, self-love, time to celebrate you in all your magnificent light. So August is a month um, of really opening your eyes of awareness to how to give self-care to yourself but in a way that's that's showy that makes you feel vibrant that makes you feel alive august has a lot of leo energy in it which is about you know the spotlight and creativity so you need to nurture yourself um, you know you're really good at nurturing others but you need to to nurture yourself in a way where you feel some self-love for what you have to create and express in the world and then dog far away a distant friend is thinking of you which is lovely so it might be time to reach out to people you haven't connected with in a long time or people that are at a a distance from you um, you know pick up the phone or send a text if someone pops into your mind i think there's something important about this that um, you know they might have a message of self-love for you of tapping into that or just something beautiful to tell you about yourself okay next up we've got leo leo august is your month um, the majority of it anyway okay we are going to roll a planetary dice to see what planet has a special message for you in august the moon beautiful so something something very nurturing nourishing maybe about home maybe about um, just mood and atmosphere and kind of feeling into your body then you've got chameleon soul tribe it's safe to be seen yeah okay so the moon can be soul tribe type of energy so i think it's um, a month for you to really give special attention to those people who feel like your chosen family and where you really feel seen and loved and um, just you know at home with these people it's time to really give a lot of, of heart and warmth to this area of your life and really nourish and nurture it as well okay and then you've got crib birth or conception of a child or enterprise so if you're trying to have a baby um, you know moon and crib here which is a beautiful sign and you might be bringing in a soul tribe member 
through that if you are not looking <laughs> to have a child which is probably the majority of you there's probably just some new um, yeah some new creative project some new um, enterprise or opportunity bubbling up and I think it's coming through these people that feel like um, that feel like home to you that feel like your chosen family okay next up we've got Virgo so Virgo we're gonna roll a planetary dice to see which planet in August has a special message for you Jupiter lovely Jupiter's all about expansion and finding a vision and a big aim and a big target but also pushing you outside of your comfort zone to broaden your life okay frog stepping into your power don't take a back seat in your story it's time to step up so jupiter also can have a lot to do with um, narrative and storytelling so you need to see yourself as a protagonist in august and what is the story that you as protagonists want to be in. You get to choose this. Choose your story, write it by living it, um, and see yourself as powerful as that protagonist and within this story that you get to choose. Okay, one more message. This one might want to come out. Woman, dealings or relationship with a woman. So there's a female in your life in August that's gonna be key to something about this. Maybe she's opening up opportunities to broaden your life. Maybe she's a supporting character to your protagonist. Uh, maybe she's the, the villain in the story, who knows? Um, but there, there's an important woman and um, something about her, whether it's a challenge that challenges you to broaden your perspective or an opportunity or just a support. Um, yeah, so a challenge, an opportunity or a support that um, whatever the case is with this woman, she has some sort of key to getting you to, to see your power or to claim your power and to step into greater bigger opportunities i love that for you guys virgo because sometimes you're a little on the cautious side of things um, so this is a month to be a little bit more bold and really step into that leo august energy of courage and uh, yeah being being in the spotlight Okay, next up we've got Libra. So Libra, we're going to roll a planetary dice to see what planet has a special message for you in August. So Uranus, something, something um, out of the blue, something surprising, or it could be something around groups and friendships. Let's see what comes up with the cards to pull a little bit more out of this. Fox, shadow work, there are no shadows without light. So you may suddenly, out of nowhere, see some kind of pattern in your life that's been created by a certain, um, something you haven't noticed in your patterns before, that in your behaviors, in your wiring, in your norms, whatever it is, but you're all of a sudden gonna see a shadow and a pattern and it's going to awaken you and kind of jolt you out of, of doing something that's, that's not creating positive um, uh, results around something in your life. And so you're really awakening to this and doing some beautiful, beautiful work about stepping out of that um, because you once you see something, you can't unsee it. So if you see a shadow, it's, uh, it really helps us to step out of, of um, negative patterns and claim more beauty in our life. So pin, new job or career. So this is all around patterns around job and career, shadow patterns you haven't seen that you're suddenly gonna awaken to this month. Uranus is really helping you to do that and really wants you to wake up to some something you're not seeing and you're gonna see the shadow of this and be able to jump right out of, of that pattern of that shadow with a new job career opportunity bubbling um, coming your way or maybe a job comes your way from a friend or out of the blue and it wakes you up to a certain pattern you've 
been in that you didn't see until this came in for whatever reason. Okay, really exciting for you guys, Libra. All right, next sign we've got Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio, we are going to roll the planetary dice to see what planet has a special message for you in August. Pluto, big, powerful, deep work. Um, going into the trenches. Wow, you got two animals. We'll take them both. Okay, so heart medicine. Let go of that which does not serve your highest good. And then courage. You are being tested. Have faith and stand in your truth. Both making sense with Pluto coming through. So you're doing some detective work. You're uprooting things that have been kind of hidden down in in the gunk of life under the surface down in the plumbing and you're really need, needing to stick with your heart and your higher self through this um, and have courage you this can be an opportunity to really clean out the way that uh, you share and things are shared with you in in life your sense of empowerment um, so yeah, an op opportunity is opening up to do some, some deep dive kind of gunky detective work, but through that it's, um, you're healing something really beautiful about your heart, but you're going to need to have some courage here to really face things, um, that sometimes you don't want to see, but once you can see that you can uproot it and sort of, um, resurrect some aspect of your life force of your empowerment so not easy work but really really potent lasting work yeah obstacles to overcome exactly so there's 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 something big presenting itself to you and sometimes it can come through as an outside Thing, but that's just a reflection of something inside of you that you need to clear out that's um, clogging up your sense of, of empowerment, how you share and how things are shared to you, how you are precise in channeling certain resources to and from you and circulating energy, circulating life force. So there, there's something that needs to be cleared out around this and it's being presented to you but what a beautiful opportunity to claim back some power that you um, have that's, yeah, that's gotten kind of gunked up somewhere. So um, a really potent month and an important month in your year. That's what it's, it's feeling like. A, a, a de you know, and Pluto is, is your modern ruler as well. So this is work that you guys naturally do anyway. So, um, yeah, stick with it. You guys have all the makings to do this type of work. It shouldn't be that new to you, but it, it is a, a big month for this kind of stuff, this detective work. All right. Okay, Sagittarius, you guys are up. Um, okay, so we are going to roll a planetary dice to see which planet has a special message for you guys in August. Mars, action, courage, assertion, time to go, time to activate something. <laughs> um, otter, initiations, be open through this transitional time. Yeah, so if you've been feeling like you're in transition and kind of not sure about a certain direction, it's time to sort of... Um, pick a direction and and initiate yourself into it step over a threshold uh, it's time the, the go the green light is here <laughs> um, ah, this one pig beware of greed all right so one thing that uh, I would offer here is oftentimes when we are at a new threshold there can be like forks in a path or several forks in a path and it can um, take us a minute to decide and figure out which path we need to embark on, head out on um, in terms of a committing to a direction in our life. And what I would say is 
not everything is as it seems. So don't just pick a path because it offers a lot. You need to check in with your gut and your intuition because maybe the, the path that looks the least appealing actually holds the greatest treasures. So I don't think that this is like saying you're greedy. It's just like you're at this forked, uh, forked area of many paths and anybody who would come up to that would probably want to choose the most appealing looking path that you need to um, check a little deeper because these entry points, this moment of needing to pick a direction and go, isn't completely as it seems. And you need to, yeah, really tap into intuition and tap into which one's drawing you in, even if it doesn't look like the most appealing um, entry point, access point, threshold, whatever. Uh, what feels right to you? inside not in appearance so all right beautiful okay next up we have capricorn capricorn we are going to roll the planetary dice to see which planet has a message for you for august jupiter i love that um expansiveness uh, yeah that's what i'm i'm feeling capricorn you guys are tend to be very cautious and pragmatic and i i think august with you know the solar leo energy is asking you to be a bit more expansive and devil may care and a little bit more <laughs> more reckless with with um how you're engaging with life because there's opportunities here that uh, are, are maybe don't make sense to your pragmatic self, but that actually hold some beautiful magic behind them. Okay, let's see. Extra messages here. Snake, Kundalini rising. Channel your creative passion and sensuality. Welcome the transformation. So this is something you might be feeling within yourself and you really need to let your energy be unleashed. Don't be limiting with what you're feeling inside. Let it sort of um, consume you a little bit because it's trying to transform you. It's trying to awaken you to new possibilities, new potential, new visions in life. Okay. And then bat, take care, Your enemies are working against you. So there may be some, it might not be like specific person as enemy, but there might just be some oppositional energies in your life in um, August that what I feel coming through is you, you tend to like to look for the pragmatic approach to you to to things and i think that is the oppositional force working against you this month you need to kind of check that natural aspect of yourself and let these things that are, you aren't so keen on all the time or used to embracing um you know you, you need to put your pragmatism as the enemy working against you to the side and let some passionate um, consuming energy that's creative within you kind of take over and really awaken you to new new things new potentials so a little bit of a tug of war in august to kind of um step into a, a more devil may care go with the flow um take some risks, take some adventures, and put your, your caution a little to the side. So um, a good challenge, I think, for you guys, Capricorn. And if you heed it, maybe some really beautiful gifts coming through. All right, next up, we've got Aquarius. So Aquarius, we're gonna roll a planetary dice to see which planet has a message, a special message for you guys in August. Uranus, so something shocking, something surprising, something out of the blue. This is your modern ruler, so you, um, you know, are used to and sort of enjoy this kind of energy of shaking things up, questioning things. Um, it's somewhat natural to you. So let's see what more specifically this is about. Swan. 
graceful transformation soften your heart and find your flow i actually this is making me laugh because i actually feel like what's shocking is not shocking energy electric energy that's what runs through your veins already what's shocking to you is a softness coming in there's something softer more graceful more elegant that um, is starting to run channel through you in August and it's very shocking and surprising to you because you're used to more kind of electric currents and shakeups and this is just sort of like yeah peaceful and graceful and um, there's yeah something transforming in you that is able to see the elegance in life and compromise and um, you know you're, you guys are a fixed sign which can be stubborn and I think there's something coming through you wanting to be a little bit easier softer more forgiving more flexible um, it's sort of transforming how you're used to being carriage a journey either physical or mental so some sort of journey um, if you go on a trip in august or if you're asking a lot of internal questions and doing a lot of inner work either way something about that is opening your heart up to more graceful approach to questions more graceful approach to life and change and it's sort of surprising how you're handling this and seeing certain qualities come through you or be felt um, within you and around you that you're not super used to, but there's, yeah, some kind of journey that's, that uh, is kind of invoking this. So really beautiful. Okay, next up we've got Pisces. All right, Pisces, these are your little mini reading for August. First, we're gonna roll a planetary dice to see what planet has a special message for you for the month. North Node, so some sort of um, deep initiation into using your free will to decide about something you want for yourself without faith fate or destiny getting in the way. This is your absolute ability to exercise free will and choose something for yourself. Okay, let's see. What about this wants to come through? Divine service. How can you serve yourself better? Exactly. Pisces, you guys are so, you're, you know, you're like the little antenna of the human realm and you're always sort of being affected by collective currents, by cosmic currents, by those things that I've mentioned, fate and destiny. Um, and you need to, this month, do a little bit of service to yourself by choosing something you want for yourself and exercising your free will. And just, even if it's little, I, I feel like this, North Node is wanting to give you a message about you having the capacity and the potential to choose things for yourself and to be a little bit more selfish sometimes to get out of life what you want. Okay hand in need of help assistance and guidance yeah and you guys are you know you you feel so deeply you have so much compassion for the world and any living thing and you're not great you're great at stepping up to the plate when you feel that compassion for others but you're not always so great at recognizing when you are flooded or need help and so also part of this service and part of this exercising some free will is this is kind of a a, a lesson for you in august um, your north node really wants you to identify something you need help with and wants you to take action to initiate and assert into asking for the 
either assistance, help, or guidance you need. Um, so it was like a little bit of a, a, a challenge coming through, and I think it's coming through uh, that free will that lives within you as wanting to speak up and say, hey, you know, it's my turn. It's my turn to decide something for myself and to ask for help with that because I, you know, karma's coming around. A lot of people, I think, probably owe you, so... Call in, those, call in those favors, use your free will to exercise something for yourself this month and identify some area where you could use some assistance and ask for it. And I think you're going to be shocked by how easy and how quickly things can happen for you. And it's a, a beautiful, like a, something within you really, your free will within you wants you to witness this. You haven't witnessed it enough. Um, how much power you have in your free will okay beautiful this is the end of our planetary or our by sign august mini readings next up i will be jumping into pile one through four so just go down into the descriptions to the timestamps and jump to the pile you had chosen for yourself at the intro all right i will see you guys in your piles Hello, Pile One, and welcome to your August reading. I love this card that you've picked here, the Extended Family. And this card is representing sort of the foundation of August for you, the overall theme of the environment, circumstances, events coming in generally in August. So picking the Extended Family wind above fire below this card is all about the interdependence of a family union unit sorry well it could be union too family unit as sort of a microcosm of an example of communities and society working well together so the more you can work really well as a team player within your little pod, whether that's with, you know, whatever it is that you're really needing to work together with people in a, in a communal way, in a co-creative way, in a, a way that sort of brings sustenance and sustainability to your living situation. So it could be your roommates, it could be literally your family whether you have not moved out yet you still are with your parents and siblings or maybe you have your own family and you're married and you have dogs or you're married and you have kids and dogs or <laughs> gerbils whatever um whatever your or maybe you're just you have a tight-knit group of friends maybe you live by yourself but you have you know some some close friends that you all help each other out with certain things there's something important coming through here to really pay attention to who is your closest sort of tribe and how is there a sense of interdependence that leads to a lot of productivity and a lot of flourishing so when we let go of the reins of having to be con in control and do everything for ourselves and kind of spread the the workload around a lot more uh, not everything is equal to its parts it's uh, exponential every component within that grows things ex exponentially and so it's being really aware of where in the group you are most effective and everyone also having that awareness. Like maybe you run in very in a very yin feminine way and you're a natural nurturer and you really like to take care of people and cook and maybe there's other people that are much more yang in the dynamic and really can get the motors going on certain things and create some assertion and movement and change needed. Um, who functions best in what role is really paying attention to that. And even if it's not completely in sync with who the essence of you is and what you want for yourself, it's looking at that community component and 
realizing the best place for you within it and being that team player and noticing how by becoming an interdependent pod with with a close-knit circle a lot of productivity and flourishing and beauty comes out of that more than what you could do on your own um, yeah as long as 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 everyone is involved in in that kind of higher higher mind of seeing how working together really can cultivate you know a lot of a lot of beauty and a lot of flourishing in life a lot of warmth a lot of growth a lot of whatever it is and even like coming together as a group and and having chats once a week about what what's needed where are we going what's our agenda this you know this week what's bringing some focus to that as a group maybe that's a role you could step into um just because you're seeing right now that that that's something that can really harmonize and um activate and give intention and purpose to to a lot of energy in your life um collective energy in your life so really beautiful card um this always can come with both gifts and challenges so there may be some challenges in terms of recognizing the beauty of doing this putting some ego aside or wrangling others to kind of be team players as well <laughs> um, okay i'm also going to pick a animal spirit card to show sort of where your mentality is for the month might show where there might be some gifts and challenges in relation to these outside circumstances um, due to where you're coming from so the hyena um, really <laughs> i actually like the hyena uh, i have maybe a little bit of my own interpretation to the hyena i think that this is an animal that knows how to flip things um, upside down to see them very differently and to bring some some humor and uh, levity to, to especially to anything that's sort of outdated archaic you can kind of flip it on its head and make people see the absurdity of certain things so I think you're you're having some clarity about some some absurdity about something around this sort of team playerness maybe there needs to be some shakeups here or um, to make it function better kind of break up the roles make people see roles differently or maybe people aren't stepping up to the plate with this and you can kind of flip things on the head their head to show bring some some humor and levity to to show why this is maybe a better way to be doing things than how they're doing things um, it's also a call to take yourself a little bit more seriously what do you want for yourself what are you not taking seriously that you actually should be taking seriously for your yourself um, so kind of a double-edged sword here which is why we have a quarter moon um, a what can uh, two people on the outside can you flip and bring humor to and um, to show the absurdity of things and what within yourself do you need to take uh, more seriously and um, you know give some consideration and uh, clout to that you haven't given yourself enough clout about something about yourself or your wants or needs Okay, we're also going to pick a goddess for August to see which, which goddess energy is really wanting to step in and be sort of a guide for you, which also might shed some light on things that may be coming in August. So Medicine Woman, Ixchel, uh, you are a channel for divine healing power. So I love this um, kind of electric energy and the water. This is sort of a Mayan rain goddess. So water and storms like really clearing out. And I think this is um, 
something she's going to help you in your hyena mode with is like really helping to clear out this team uh, unit that you may be around or that you need to develop more. There's stagnant things. She's really going to help you to flip on its head to purify and clear and channel what you need to know to point out what's needed to be seen here. Whether it's about shaking this up, um, maybe there's there is a strong team player community around you, but it's gotten rigid and you need to sort of uh, create a storm to clear out some stagnant stuff and sort of reorder or um, clear out some ego and people around you to help things congeal around you for a little bit more interdependence and there's the potential for, for people and you to be stepping into team player roles to bring more beauty and benefit and flourishing to life, but you kind of need to like clear out some baggage or something or old ways of thinking about interdependence to kind of make this congeal. So beautiful. So a little bit of storminess coming in, but for healing purpose and, um, an ability to do so with some levity and some focus on how how team playing can bring a lot of beauty and flourishing to your life this month. Um, okay, we are now going to look at the four cardinal directions of life. So this is Initially, the first direction, I'm going to look at where your energy is, what's motivating you, what's driving you, where is your energy level. Okay. Oh, that was on the bottom of the deck. And initially, it really wanted to come out. Emerging. Take the leap of faith. So you maybe have been in a... Uh, cocoon mode for the last little bit and not really sure about a direction but something about you some energy is emerging and you're feeling that that new drive to leap towards something and to fill your colors and express so that's really exciting i love seeing this for your your energy and your drive something really beautiful is coming out of you right now um okay pick a few tarot cards wow these are beautiful cards beautiful cards you guys wow okay two major arcana so this is a really big aspect of your month um your your drive your energy level it's it's really awakening and you have you have a creative spirit coming out of you. Whatever's emerging is very creative and very victorious, and you need to put your heart out there and put yourself out there. Allow yourself to be seen. Um, some judgment is coming through that's very favorable. Um, you're winning. There's some sort of judgment that's saying, yes, you win. So if you've been wanting to um, compete in something, apply for something, uh, put a new project out there. Uh, it will really see some, some beautiful feedback and recognition. And it's going to require though, that you really find your balance of strength between sort of your rational mind and your more wild intuitive self. You're really needing to find a, a, a beautiful harmonized balance in this in order to step up to the plate and have the courage and strength to put your emerging creative, uh, yeah, just whatever, just some sort of gorgeous drive coming out of you. Um, you're needing to find that, that balance of rational and intuitive in order to do this with the strength that it requires. And both of these, Strength card and Six of Inspiration, kind of fall under Leo rulership, which rules a lot of August. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a lot of Leos in this pile or people with Leo placements or fifth house placements. Um, yeah, so exciting stuff 
when you feel moments of needing to take leaps of faith, do so. Uh, victory is on your side right now because you have a lot of positive, expressive energy coming out of you. Okay, that's really beautiful. Okay, so the next direction we are going to look at is sort of the foundations of life. What is currently sort of maturing? What's coming into fruitfulness? Uh, what kind of self-care and nurturing do you need to do? Let's see what comes up. Chameleon Soul Tribe, uh, it is safe to be seen. So beautiful once again. I love this energy coming through the, for this pile. Uh, spend time with people who feel like home, who feel like your chosen family. One of the zodiac signs in those mini readings got this. I can't remember which one it was. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you came to this reading as well. Um, yeah, so spend, be sure to spend a lot of time around people who feel like your chosen family, who you feel like you can um, show yourself fully to, and take advantage of like playing off of that initial, that first direction of self and energy. Something about you is really excited to be seen right now. And so put yourself around people that, that feel safe to do so. And that will just um, increase that confidence and energy to allow yourself to be seen by more and more people outside of that uh, tighter, tighter knit area. But also related to this extended family, the circumstances around your month, um, there is something here about sort of the the tribe tribes in your life the people in your life that uh there's something you can really bring a lot of beautiful energy to in terms of creating some teamwork refining the way people are using teamwork to make life better make life easier make life more productive more fruitful uh yeah put put some effort into this i think you can really wrangle you're kind of i feel like you're the the ringleader here of this so pull some people together uh create some teamwork situations okay let's pull some tarot the hanged muse Five of Voices, okay. Yeah, this may be a bit of a challenge. Ten of Inspiration. Okay, so you may feel like you're actually holding a lot of weight down here, like you're holding the uh, too much of the effort of the teamwork, and I feel like it's time for you to use that hyena to flip things on their head like the, we talked about with the hyena, to help people see how much you're carrying and how much they should be carrying. Um, it's a time to, you know, this five of voices does bring in a lot of group energy as in relationship to Aquarius, which is about groups. And it's time to shed a little bit of light around how, how much burden different whether it's you or you see someone within this community holding a lot of weight someone whether it's you or somebody else is holding the burden of the majority of the weight and you need to yeah use your hyena energy to showcase this make it understood in that light and i like this this hanged man card the hanged muse because she's more of like um she feels like more of like a circus performer an acrobat so it's like fluid and fun and there's a lot of movement to it and a lot of light to it so i like that there's like this levity to this hangman card i think in a very humorous light fun way you can show people who like bring witness and understanding to um who's holding too much of the burden or how things are just not not functioning properly in teamwork because the right roles aren't being uh, 
kind of sunk into, taken on. And so everyone in it is feeling overwhelmed or like everyone's doing too much on their own. And by putting your heads together, you can raise yourself out of some burden and um, bring some new beauty, bring some restoration, bring some new justice to some sort of group component here. So a little bit of a challenge, but something here is saying that there's a lot of productivity and fruitfulness and maturity that could be happening with just helping the perspective shift and understand uh, how roles can be distributed better to elevate this whole soul tribe in a much more beautiful, much more flourishing way. And there's a fun way of doing this or some sort of light way that you're gonna be able to do this or that will be done. Um, yeah, so that's very interesting, very interesting message. Okay, next direction we are going to look at um, relationships. How are you, how are the different harmonies in your life? whether it's love or just personal, you know, tight personal relationships. Um, okay, so we've got giraffe, the bigger picture. Take a step back and gather your thoughts and feelings. Okay, that's interesting. I kind of want to pull the tarot cards to get a little bit more about what this is talking about. Okay, five of materials. Six of emotions. And the wheel, okay. I love the wheel coming out at the end. That makes me feel good. Um, okay, so I think there's a huge change coming either in a relationship or some relationships. And the reason why, why there's change coming is something within you is changing. And it has to do with some kind of way you're valuing certain people or things about relationships. And so you're really needing to take a step back to see the bigger picture. But oftentimes when we go through a transition in, in certain values, there can feel like there's a bit of a scarcity around us. So you may be feeling at this moment and through August that it may be around a specific relationship or it just in general that there's a scarcity of um, tight, close one-on-one -on -one relationships in your life. Um, so whether it has to do in general with that or around a specific person, what's happening is something in you is changing. So you're taking back a step back to take in a broader picture. You're developing a new value. So in that transition phase, there can feel, yeah, that scarcity comes through, but it's pushing you inward to really use your inner resources to identify and hone and and um, develop what this new value is, and this is around relationships. So as you do this work, you're gonna be reviewing certain things from your past, a little bit of nostalgia coming through, but I think you're gonna have that aha moment as you do a little bit of this reflection around past relationships. You may even go through like a history of your close one-on-one -on -one relationships and feel the highs and lows of it. This nostalgia can be filled with, with sometimes in nostalgia, the things that were hard, we can actually feel as beautiful. Um, and then the beautiful things is more beautiful. Um, but I think there's gonna be a lot of nostalgia and in this reflection, like suddenly seeing some pattern you've had and that's really gonna help you with identifying what this new value is that's coming through. And by the end of the month, you're get yeah, that aha is coming through and a whole new phase is coming in around relationships. So even if you keep the same relationships in your life or whether you bring in totally new relationships, they're gonna feel different because you are, you're, you've seen something, you've seen a pattern 
that you're able to move through once you see something you can't unsee it and it really helps us to change and step outside of things that are are creating patterns we don't like so much and results we don't like so much in our life and yeah I, th I think you're just going to get the wheel turning in a very new way in relationships which may be a key to this fam this feeling of family teamwork family dynamic in your life whether it's literal family or chosen family like friends or some other just tight community you you have some sort of key you're coming in here with of knowing how to get the wheel turning on this teamwork I was already feeling that, but you guys really are some sort of key to bringing some teamwork together to really produce something, some, some beautiful flourishing energy. So some deep work initially here, but I think by the end of the month, yeah, it's like something's, some aha is coming through and you're really going to crank a new wheel and a new kind of phase of relationships that are really geared towards, um, yeah team team effort and product you know flourishing so it's really beautiful okay so the last direction we're going to look at is around career recognition finances you know just our outer world kind of what's on our plate in the outer world what are we achieving uh what kind of mastery are we building? So snake, kundalini rising, channel your creative passion and sensuality, welcome transformation. So a big awakening coming through here. That's beautiful. Um, this, may, this may be a transition time in terms of whether it's school or career or just some sort of responsibilities in the world or how you're making money. Uh, there's a new awakening coming, which may mean that you have to transition out of some old way, old thing. Gorgeous muse of inspiration. So you've got some king energy going on. Empress energy. Wow, this is big, you guys. Okay, one more. Six of materials, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so your big aha, this awakening, some surging of energy coming through you. It's, it's definitely creative with the muse of inspiration is sort of like king of, of wands, very Leo-esque energy again for the Leo month. Um, a fire is in you. You are ready to transform, to step into your leadership position in something that's either creatively oriented or in something that allows you to be creative in how you lead. But you're really, um, a surge of energy is, is, coming through you, awakening new potential, new ability within you to really step into the role of a very dynamic, fiery, creative leader. But you also have like a, a nurturing, fertile, pleasure-loving side to you so it's not all fire there's also this like beautiful earthy watery energy around you so it's like all of the um all of the elements really we're seeing a lot of wind even though six of materials is earth i'm feeling a lot of wind energy coming out of this this rose kind of um yeah so it's like I've, i'm really feeling a lot of the elements mixing here Ixchel coming through to create a storm of rain that nourishes the ground and winds that clear out the debris and um, the fire of, of lightning coming through and um, just like a completely, yeah, awakening to how much creative ability you have, not just in being able to mold life and, and seeing life as very fertile in, in the way you're able to either direct your 
career or certain responsibilities. You're just seeing potential all around in, in both an authoritative but, but gentle, pleasurable way. And the resources you need to step into this energy, this whether it's a role or just a certain energy of creativity and fertility coming through, the resources you need are going to appear. So if people offer you resources, be open, be receptive right now because resources are coming in, whether they just come sort of naturally in the way they normally do, but in a, a upswing, or if they're offered to you, um, just be very, very receptive to however resources want to come to you this month because they, there's, there's very attractive energy around you to, to getting a little boost of, of the resources you need to step into your power. Wow, this is huge. Really big month for you guys. So this is where I'm gonna leave you. I would love to hear your feedback in the comments because this feels like a very powerful reading. And of course, if this resonated, the easiest way to support me is just a simple thumbs up. And of course, if you are not yet subscribed, I would love to do more readings uh, for you. So please be sure to subscribe to my channel. All right, I will see you guys in another reading. Happy August. Hello, Pile 2. Welcome to your August reading. We have a very powerful card to kick things off for you. I actually just want to clear a little energy around it because it's calling in some big, big efforts on your part. Um, so this card that you chose is representing sort of the environment that's going to be around you in August. So circumstances, events, general yeah, environment. So fire above, thunder below, cutting through. This is very confronting truth telling energy so i feel like you're seen with passionate with that fire passionate clarity because the fire's above so like in your head you've really purified some sort of of uh, perspective around something you're seeing something very very clearly that's got you kind of charged up electrically and there's no other choice but to speak truth to this, to cut through, to confront something. You may be feeling... So for some of you, this could be um, about all of the big things in the world and you have a lot to say about it, or it could be much more personal. So in your life, you're seeing certain patterns, certain things that are, you know, uh, maybe being done shady or maybe just um, some integrity being lost in something and it's got you very charged up about it and the words the expression the truth is uh coming out of you like lightning it's just uh, I, I don't think there's going to be a lot of <laughs> ability to hold it back so this is an energy that can shake things up and that can create great change, but that can also be sort of whistleblowing at the same time. So let's dig into an animal spirit card to see sort of where your mentality is. So how is this coming through you? Because this energy is around you. It's undeniable that it's affecting you and that you're feeling it, but let's see how, how specifically cards wanting to come yeah oh my gosh fire ant yeah you're really you're really heated about you know events in the world or events in your personal life or both and you're really seeing with a purified perspective certain truths that need to be confronted so that's um 
a lot of passion here. Uh, I know this card talks about taking evening walks when the weather's cooler or uh, where I am, it's still quite hot at night. So in the summers, so though, maybe a cool shower, something to kind of cool you off isn't uh, the worst thing in the world <laughs> to, you know, find some moments of serenity and calm and uh, composure, um, but certainly some things that you need to address, you need to confront that are really uh, getting you going. <laughs> They've got your goad. Um, so yeah, and this this kind of energy, for some of you, this may feel exciting. For some of you, you may be dreading this, but either way, it is an energy that can create a lot of change in um, in your in your world or in the world in general okay we are also going to pick a goddess for your month of august to see who's really wanting to step in and be a guide for you which may also ha give us more clues about what's coming this month so hathor receptivity which i love seeing her she's um you know very very uh nurturing type goddess allow yourself to receive this will increase your intuition energy and ability to give to others so i feel like she's coming in because you are quite heated or certain things in this month will be quite heated and she's trying to balance she's trying to bring some balance that even if there's there's things you want to confront there's things you might want to fight for uh, don't forget to take care of yourself, to look for softer moments, to allow yourself, you know, like certain things that we see that are unjust or where integrity is being lost or perspective has been lost and it's heating us up. We really get our yang energy, our, our kind of masculine assertive energy in overdrive and she's coming in to say you need to balance this this may be important and big and the priority but it can't stay a priority it's not sustainable without a little bit of downtime without some calming cooling moments without seeing that there are um, people and beautiful things that do want to give to you that are flourishing and beautiful in your life so being aware of these you know where you do receive beautifully in your life and being open to receive beautifully to balance out where you're needing to kind of um explode and destruct and <laughs> whistle blow or whatever it is call out whistle blow confront whatever that that feels whatever feels right to you about that okay we are going to go through now the four cardinal directions of life to see how these are playing out for you in august so this first direction is all about oh we've already got a card your 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 energy what's driving you what's motivating you what your energy level is like and we've got crane surrender let go of limiting beliefs be as expansive in your thought as in your soul and this makes me feel like in both ways both in the yang and the yin this is how i'm going to just balance everything that's yang and yin here um you may be someone who tends to hold back when you see something you want to speak up about or a certain truth that other people aren't seeing and this is saying don't hold back you need to be expansive about this you need to surrender into it if it's coming through you like lightning let it come through you like lightning here again too if you're feeling you need to take a day to rest if you're feeling like you need to take a day off to go swimming in a reservoir, whatever it is, surrender to that. Surrender to what you need um, in your energy levels each day. Like really check in at the start of each day. What do I need? Um, because that's what's going to help you balance and sustain these very powerful yin and yangs coming through you this month. Okay, let's pick a few tarot cards to get a little more about this. Ah. something nervous and you guys too this electrical current is definitely being felt the sun beautiful 
queen of voices. <laughs> this doesn't surprise me. Um, Ten of Cups, Ten of Emotions, beautiful, beautiful cards here. So I think you do have quite a bit of vitality and you just need to do some balancing. Make sure, like we talked about, checking in with what you need for the day to keep your sun, your vitality, your expressiveness, your willingness to be seen and confront, but also to... Um, receive and be generous and um, find gratitude for certain things in life uh, to keep that energy that's coming into the month with you you need to check in each morning with which side is needing my attention and then queen of voices coming through here you do have drive you do have assertion with with saying the truths with actually nurturing the truths cutting through any bullshit uh, any bullshit your drive your energy your motivation is not putting up with this month and that cutting through it is bringing a beautiful flow of harmony and this harmony the more effort you put into balancing this this very intense yang energy and this very gentle flowing receptive yin energy the more you can balance with seeing certain things as beautiful with where there needs to be destruction the more effort you put into balancing these the more harmony and flow and compositional ability you are going to be able to have with your energy to make life move and to create um uh, co compositions that are amazing. Um, I really think putting on some music, really matching a, a beautiful way for you guys to understand your energy going into each day is find a song that really resonates with you in that morning as you're checking in with what you need with that energy. Really cool, beautiful. A lot of drive in you guys this month. Okay, the next direction we are going to look at what is sort of fruitful and maturing in your life but also needs certain nourishment and grounding as well so koi carp abundance move with the flow of abundance around and through you and i love seeing this because this is down this energy is down in like the roots where home and family live this direction I think it's really tapping into, I think this is where you're going to find a lot of receptivity. I think there's in your, your personal home life and maybe even in your peers and colleagues at work. Um, I think you're, you're finding an abundance of support and um, a, lot of, a lot of gratitude can be found here and you can attract a lot of uh, use your receptive really open your receptivity in this area of your life I think there's a lot of people that are wanting to step up and support you right now an abundance of support an abundance of nurturing an abundance of uh, security being felt maybe in your home in the grounds beneath you so really feel into that appreciate it find gratitude for it because it will that gratitude will just expand that abundance and keep it flowing and there to support you as you this feels like more outer world stuff where you're angry about something or charged up about something anyway yeah three of emotions so beautiful mm, death okay an ace of voices Okay, so you, uh, th there are, whether you see it right now or not, um, open your eyes to your support systems. They are th there. If you're not feeling it, it it's not going to take a lot of effort to reach out to certain people that pop into mind because a lot of support is wanting to congeal around you this month um, and you do you you can call in and you sh for many of you you should already have 
a beautiful amount of um, support system that feels, whether it's chosen family or real family, um, friends who are feel like family, whatever it is, there's, there's soul people, soul tribe people around you this month. Seen that come up so far a lot in things, soul tribe stuff. Um, and you're going to need these. You're going to need that abundance of, of soul people in your life because you are going through a transformation. And I think this is what is evoking that transformation. There's something you're seeing so clearly and so potently and so in such a charged way that there's no possibility of not also going through a transformation yourself because you're really stepping up to this and allowing yourself to be seen and heard around it and that's creating just yeah a lot of transformation also within you so you need to lean on the support you have because something in you is also just um kind of going down into the depths, shutting off a bit. Um, so allow yourself to, to be supported in ways that also allow you to go inward a bit and um, go through some, some radical changes that I think some outer world things are igniting in your inner world. And this is, you're going to rebirth with this clarity your voice is going to be like lightning. You are really maturing something in your voice that knows how to cut through, just like we saw with the queen of voices in your um, energy and drive direction down here. And what's maturing is the power of voice, the, the lightning of voice. That's something that's really maturing in you in this transformation is helping you to recognize how powerful this quality is within you and what it can do to bring fruitfulness and to bring productivity to your life. So, wow, this is such a powerful reading, you guys. Really cool. Okay, so the next direction, we're gonna look at your one-on-one -on -one relationships. So this can be love relationships or just any one-on-one, -on -one, very personal, kind of the harmonies you have in one-on-one -on -one, one dynamics. The hair, strength. Time to make clear decisions, bring awareness and light to the situation. This feels like this, so it, uh, in the relational realm, there may be some shakeup, there may be some heat, there may be some electricity. Um, you could have some, um, some moments of feeling that hate and then feeling that passion <laughs> for some, you know, just for some of you, if that feels accurate to you. <laughs> But I think you're seeing, yeah, you're, you're cutting through something, some, some bullshit in the relational realm for sure right now this month. And then justice, yeah, the, and a balance. This is bringing that balance. There's a balance that you are um, needing to confront. You're needing to cut through someone in or your pattern in relationships, or if this to you feels like a specific relationship, there's a pattern that's losing its integrity and you're really seeing the clarity in this and uh, where the balance is off. And the more you can balance yourself, the more clarity will come to you about how to, in a just way, in a fair way, bring awareness to imbalances in the relationship and restore that balance or kick it to the kick that relationship to the curb if if um yeah if, mm. some of you may be kicking a relationship to the curb or some of you may be having a lot of disappointment in one-on-one -on -one relationships right now and then eight of emotion yeah walking away um, yeah, I'm really sorry. I think a lot of you guys have felt some hurt and some even betrayal, but I think you're, you're seeing with a lot of clarity where the imbalances have been. You're getting it. 
you're recognizing what you need, you're cracking out of an old shell and you're realizing what the balance is you're needing in relationships and so it's making it a little easier to let go of certain disappointments or betrayals or hurts or heartbreaks and you're finding the um, willingness and the motivation to finally walk uh, walk towards something that feels more soulful to you and that's not to say that especially if this is about a specific relationship which feels like it for the majority of you will probably be about a specific relationship it's not to say that that the other can't come with you through this but it would take a really really big person um, and it would take completely walking away from how this relationship has been and into a completely different mode of relationship. And I, I just don't see that being the case for almost anybody. <laughs> but, but you know for you, whether this person comes with you or not, you're finding the strength you need. You're finding that some, some heat and some passion is really burning some clarity through in your head. And like lightning, you're getting it uh, what kind of balance you need in your relationships and you're ready to walk toward that and away from what was. Whether or not the other comes with you, that's on, on them, but you're ready to do this for you. And um, good for you, good for you. But I'm also sorry if, if you've felt some hurt and disappointment, so. Uh, it was, we have to go through trials sometimes to figure out and see certain patterns and know what we, a lot about what we don't want um, to then start to realize what we do want. Um, but you're getting it is the good news here. So good for you guys. Okay, last direction. We're going to look at the outer world kind of pressures where we're holding responsibility where we're building mastery um, so career achievement uh, what what we're doing out in the world basically so this could be school it could be career it could just be roles you take upon yourself out in, in the public world the cat speak your truth I feel like almost every card I pulled in, because um, I used this deck and the by sign, I feel like almost every one of these cards has come through in uh, the readings so far, a lot of them anyway. Okay, so speak your truth. Doesn't shock me here, cutting through. Uh, you have strength, faith, and conviction in your voice. It has never been more needed. So, and I felt this, I felt like this was an outer world thing predominantly. We did feel this in the relationship a little bit, but there's also something out in the world, um, how you're using your position, what you're learning through school, some sort of role you've taken on for some other purpose. You have a truth you're seeing with such strong clarity, certain things that are lacking integrity or certain things that need to be spoken or certain integrities that are really needing um, this alignment that's missing. And uh, the cards, this uh, whoever's here, spirit guides, your ancestors, something is coming through that's saying that you need to speak this. You, there's such clarity in you that you need to speak it because you really will make a big impact and a big difference. And if you hold this inside, if you don't speak, you're gonna fester and you're gonna burn up inside and feel a lot of anger. But if you release it, it'll clear like lightning and you'll have more room for more gorgeous, receptive, um, yeah, uh, softer energies to come through. So really, yeah, if there's a conviction. If there's something that you have to say, you really, especially, you know, in the outer world, in your position, in a role, you need to do it. You need to speak it. Okay, four of materials. 
So you may feel insecure about this. You may feel like you're still needing to strengthen your voice, strengthen some sort of um, maturity or confidence about something. So it may feel a little scary, like you're even too low on a totem pole to be speaking the things you need to speak. Um, but you're, you're seeing something like the fox. You, you've seen behind enemy lines or you somehow know what another side of something is thinking because you've been in that position or you've been granted access, um, maybe even mistakenly, to certain things. You've seen, you, you may even have a secret uh, that feels vulnerable. Uh, so this, this, uh, this, whatever this speak your truth is, it may feel a little uh, precarious, but it's still being called forth out of you. And then the night of emotions is what's showing up as this ending. So the book and cards here are all for you speaking up, but internally there's like uh, a little bit of lack of, of strength or confidence and um, something secretive you're not sure how or if you should or even legally if you can say certain things so yeah if it's on the if you're gonna get in trouble maybe cover cover your cross your dots or cross your T's and dot your I's and uh, seek some counsel that you may need to kind of cover your tracks, make sure you're not getting yourself in trouble, but something does need to be spoken. Um, so you need to find the way to do it in the right words in the right way that's not going to come back on you. This shouldn't be something that comes back on you in, um, in a way that's going to punish you, you know, in terms of like coming back on you in terms of Criticism, fine, that's whatever, but um, yeah, you don't want any punishment type uh, energy coming back on you. So just make sure your tracks are covered with what you do need to speak and um, do what you need to strengthen your confidence. Do any nurturing, find any counseling, whatever it is you need to find the security you need to feel to speak, you need to do that. Um, but there is courage coming through you with this last, the book end here is, um, this feels very emotional to you and maybe another option coming through with this, with the night of emotions is maybe there's a way for you to speak this truth through art so it's not um explicit it's implicitly spoken through an artful way through inspiration through poetry fiction something that's like implicitly but but also maybe explicit in that implicit <laughs> or just you know like everyone gets what you're talking about but you're doing it in a more artistic way in a way to um, cover your tracks or not be punished for saying certain things. Uh, you can do things in a way that like people are like, I know what she's talking or he is talking about. Um, and it inspires. So doing it in a more art, uh, vein of art type of thing. Um, but it needs to come out of you. There's some truth that needs to come out of you and the role you hold in the world right now. And yeah, so you need to maybe go within and figure out a way to do this that's clever, a way to do this that's not going to come back on you in a punishing way. Um, because there is something secretive. I think you might know some things that you're maybe not supposed to know or have some things to say that, are, that shouldn't be said uh, per the powers that be. <laughs> so anyway, really big energy for you guys this month. Uh, a lot going on, but like really tapping into certain balances that are beautiful and certain really powerful clarities coming through and really stepping into a certain power 
um, channeling through you and charging up within you. So yeah, way to go. Um, this is where I'm going to leave this August reading for you guys. Uh, if this really resonated with you, the easiest way you can support me is a simple thumbs up. And if something specific jumped out, I always love to read the comments. Um, I try to jump into those about once a week to kind of browse through them. Um, those are always, yeah, fun to see what people have to say. And of course, if you are not subscribed yet, I'd love to do more readings for you. So please subscribe and I will see you guys in another reading. All right. See ya. Hello, Pile 3, and welcome to your August reading. I just have to say, I had to take a little break between doing your pile after Pile 2 to charge a battery. And I came back and the lighting was just so much more beautiful than it had been for the rest of the reading, which matched, I was looking at this card before I decided to charge the battery and take a break and just noticing how beautiful there's like this, um, the approach of spring, there's like the sunrise almost about to happen in the car with this sort of gloam happening. And I was just thinking how beautiful the lighting is in it. So I love that synchronicity that all of a sudden I come back after having that thought and the lighting is so much more beautiful than it had been. So I feel like we're getting ready for a beautiful reading, but we'll see what happens. So this card is representing sort of the environment for your August, certain circumstances, events, things that will present to you generally, kind of the general tone of environment for, for your month of August. So it's the approach of spring, earth above, lake below. And this card has a lot to do with being prepared to go. This is your green light moment and it's really beautiful. This is a time of growth coming through and happening very rapidly, but spring doesn't last forever. It goes very quickly. And so you really do need to take advantage of the time to strengthen yourself, to find your expression, to move forward on things, to mold life because certain challenges and oppositions and heats come in quite quickly and you need to gain that strength before those things come in. So it's a time of, um, yeah, just like really asserting yourself, molding your life, seeing what is possible, but also, oops, sorry, I'm shaking everything, um, being conscientious and cognizant that this time needs to be taken advantage of and not wasted frivolously with just you know floating along and enjoying it there there's things to be done to strengthen yourself so that you are prepared for um, the elements to be that come a little later in spring so we are also going to pick an animal card to see kind of the attitude generally you're coming into the month with so how these might match what that means whoops camel i love it beautiful card the camel is a card of going on a journey so whether that's internally or externally there's something you're um it's like a, also a mystical quality. There's a sustenance that you have. It's sort of like you've been through this winter time where you've really built this inner sustenance, really nourished some new inner light, trying to break through the surface. And you've really cultivated a lot of inner resources to now take you into the daylight and into the spring and sort of having built up a reservoir of energy and resources to to take advantage of this green light so it's sort of like this card is saying sort of like you're ready you're on it you've been you you did winter your winter well your winter phase well not literal winter but some sort of winter phase well and you have 
done some restoring. You feel, uh, yeah, just furnished and the reserves built up and you are ready to push into this spring and to make it some sort of journey and to put out these mystical things you've seen underneath the surface within yourself. You're ready to pull those out of the interior of your life and you know you even see in this it's like the beautiful mystical things under the earth are really eager to push out from under the surface and into the light and um, there's all this reservoir of uh, what's needed of soils and waters and um, you're you're very much so mirroring your environment and ready to go with it you're prepared it's like you knew spring was coming and you did yeah you did right with your winter so <laughs> that's I, I love this this feels very good um okay so we're also going to pick a goddess as sort of your guide for the month of august which may also give us some indication of what's to come based on who comes through bast and independence so uh, your independence is a foundation for your strength and success and i love that because in my interpretation spring is all about being a little bit selfish it's about finding your center your personal passion what you have a pulse for a direction an order and um claiming your destiny, claiming what you want, claiming your rights, being, uh, you know, we have to have that foundation of where we come from before we can start uh, widening our sphere, our boundaries of what we influence and what influences us and taking on more complexity. It's the time to be really tight into yourself claim your direction, claim your, your independence, and um, trust the strength you have to take you forward and to have the confidence to step towards what you want and to mold life in the way that you want it. So a little bit of like slightly a selfish month, but um, only f for the benefit of what's to come. Um, yeah, so beautiful. Okay, so pushing on into the core of this reading, we are going to be looking at what I call the four directions of life, the core four cardinal directions. So we're first going to look at the direction of self. So this is our where your drive is coming from, what's motivating you, what your energy level is like. And I feel like we're gonna see um, some beautiful energy, but let's see what happens. Yeah. Tiger. Divine timing. Good timing. Oh, good things come to those who wait. And I feel like you have waited. You've been in your winter for some time. You've been patient. You've been uh, stalking your prey. And now is the time to pounce. Uh, the timing is right. So if you've been waiting, if you've been feeling like some things have been dormant in your life and waiting for that, you know, that, that energy to come in to make it feel like it's right to go and to assert and to push into life, this is confirmation that the timing is right. The green light is here. Good things are coming because you have been patient, you've waited, and you've... Um, built up your reserves of what you need. You, ha you have your energy stored. Eight of voices. Okay. Three of inspiration. I love that. I feel like eight of voices is where you've come from the world. Okay, beautiful. Gorgeous cards. So I think the eight of voices is where you've come from that dormant time. I think you've had a lot of ideas. You've had a lot of big thoughts, big hopes, big dreams, but haven't really had the, that click fit in yet of like, how exactly do you approach this? Where do you, what angle 
can you find to enter into these big ideas, these big pictures? And the click is here, this three of inspirations is uh, activation of the perfect alignment to pick your direction, to find your access point to a big vision you've had, um, big dreams, big wants, big hopes where you felt trapped and unable to move forward because you haven't found the access point, but it's opening to you this month. August is the month. You've been waiting. I think you've been waiting months. I think you've been waiting at least three months, if not more, maybe even six months for some of you. Um, go time. Access point is here. It's presenting itself and it is a perfect alignment because you've been patient and because divine timing is unfolding here. And the world, you know, in the aid of voices, I kind of feel like these cards mirror each other in terms of like having that initial hope and want and vision, but having not taken a first step yet and not really knowing where to take a first step and feeling a little bit trapped by it almost. Um, and then the world being the bookend of that, of having found that entry point, gone on the journey, and now standing at the summit, master of whatever journey you've gone on. And I am absolutely feeling the stamina of the camel here because to go from the point of, of idea to mastery within a month is like, you have really, really spent some time inwardly cultivating, developing, forming. You've done all the work inwardly. And so all you needed was a door to open to you outwardly. And it just comes flooding out. And you already are a master of it. You just needed that access point in the outward, in the outer world. It's all in you. It's already there. Uh, you just you just needed a door to open because the world was within you and you just step out now as master of something. <laughs> so your drive is on point this month. Wow, you guys, something big is coming out of you and you're getting the opening and the opportunity to bring it out of you. And you've felt like it's been trapped. You haven't known how to get it out, but it, it, the door, the opening comes to you this month. And um you have a whole world, a whole mastery of something you've developed and it's just ready to be seen. Um, and you feel it, it's, you're motivated by it, you feel the drive for it, you feel the energy for it. This is beautiful, beautiful stuff. Okay, we are going to look down at the foundations of your life, what is maturing, what's coming into sort of a fruitful place that needs nurturing and a little bit of um, process and cultivation. Starfish intuition. I love it. I've been talking about all this inner work. I've sensed, you know, the cards don't necessarily say that, but just the story that's coming through and what I've sensed, what I feel like is channeling through me is like you really, you've really done some powerful, powerful inner work. So intuition, listen to your soul's truth think less, feel more. So this is something that's maturing in you. You are really stepping into trust in your intuition and allowing it to take the lead sometimes. Um, it's a scary thing to allow um, to, we really like to get into our rational minds as leading our life. Uh, but so often intuition is a much better leader for our lives. Um, either way, the heart is, is the center and is the real leader, but uh, those who can let intuition lead have really done some work on trust and development of, of instinct, of body understanding, body intelligence, those signals that our body picks up and our heart pick up so much more quickly and masterfully than our minds do. And there's something really fruitful here coming through. So let's pick some tarot cards to see. Way too many, way too many cards. Uh, let's not do that. Um, it just means there's a lot 
there's a lot going on down here, a lot in the depths of your life, but I'm just going to ask that we get the most important things to know. The Fool, I love this with spring energy. There's a new path, another new path opening. Page of Voices is another young energy. I love this. So beautiful. Nine of Materials, which is a perfect, this direction is perfect for that card. Um, yeah, new things. Absolutely. Another new path. So not only is your motivation and drive sort of the young aspect of self really finding its opening, but things that you're maturing in your life that are bearing fruit in your life are getting a new fresh impulse, a new spark, a new readiness to jump onto a new path. And there's ideas coming through that are unique and quirky and fun and um, yeah, just swirling with with vibrancy and and uh, your originality is is youthful right now. It's just ready to um, yeah, step into the light, do something for your life, manifest things for your life. You have some great, yeah, quirky, originally unique ideas coming through that are really sparking a new path for you. And this can be an abundant path and a path that can lead to your um, self-sufficiency and sovereignty in life. A lot of productivity, a lot of uh, potential resources and income coming from this new spark, these new paths, these new ideas, and really allowing your intuition to guide that. Don't let your, your mind, the naysayer, the saboteur get in the way of this. Really trust your impulses here. Really trust what your soul is telling you, what your intuition is telling you. Uh, get out of your head. Absolutely get out of your head and go. The only thing that should be in your head are these ideas that are fun and quirky and original. Um, but in terms of what to do and what's possible, get out of your head and trust those impulses because there's some very fruitful, very beautiful things coming through. Wow. Yep. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. I just knew this was going to be such a beautiful reading and here we are. So gorgeous. Okay, so we are going to look at one on one relationships now. What are the harmonies and tensions in your life with your, uh, you know, this could be a specific other, a love interest, um, or your, in general, just your one on one relational uh, harmonies. How are you relating with people? Dolphin Atlantis. I don't know if I've ever picked this card. That's so interesting. And I've used this deck a lot. Healing wisdom is surfacing. Stop and listen. Wow, that's intriguing. Let's pick the tarot cards because I actually am not, um, not channeling exactly what this means. It feels very mysterious to me. Uh, seven of Inspiration. Beautiful, some victory coming through. Uh, healing with some surfacing. Stop and listen. Two of inspiration upside down. And muse of materials. Beautiful. Okay. Um, hmm. I think, wow, this is a very interesting uh, concoction of cards. Give me one second. I'm trying to um, find the how these cards relate in terms of your relational realm. Um, okay, so this, what's happening here is you are needing to there's you have so much beautiful energy for molding your life and we've talked about of um, finding your independence and and being able to be a little bit more selfish in life right now but when it comes to relationships you really need to put 
there's someone else in your life, and I really feel like this is about a specific other for most of you. There's someone in your life that you need to be a support for that's about to step into their into a star position in in their life and they really need your support and so this is one area in your life where you're going to need to be a little bit self self selfless <laughs> when it comes to what you're doing for yourself what's maturing in your life your direction great but when it comes to your relationships um, the other person really needs to come first because uh, there is one or some people that really need your support to step into their star moment. And that will come back around for you and they will do the same for you when all of this beautiful spring energy steps into its um, full fruitful summer mode and it will get there um, but it's very exciting personally for you but uh, relationally you know in terms of new starts but someone in your life is is stepping into a position of like really taking on a star position a star recognition a you know something they've really fought for that you've you've seen them they you've seen them go through battle you've already supported them through this um, fight to get somewhere to elevate themselves and it's coming this month and you you need to be selfish self <laughs> I keep selfless uh, when it comes to this person and you need to be there for them um, they have the this dolphin energy this Atlantis energy that's coming through they've developed a lot of wisdom and you are starting in a new path where you're developing wisdom. And this is going to, it's like you're, you're always, I really, really feel strongly that for a lot of you, this is a specific person, probably a relation, a love relationship, or it could be like a, a family member you're really close to, or like a best, super bestie for life that you've had, someone that you know so, so intimately for such a long time, but it's almost like you develop at polar ends of something. So like every time you're just initiating something like you're doing now, they're coming into um, maturity in. And so when they go through a cycle and kind of let go of this round of growth and step into a new cycle of initiation, a new spring green beginner mode, you're stepping, you'll step into your star, into your maturity, and they'll be there to support you. And it's this perfect balance that happens. And so even though it's really exciting to be new and to be stepping into fresh paths and have that, it's the most exciting point. Um, there is a, 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 a feedback loop that is happening with you in relationships where uh, you do need to, yeah, to cordon off a little bit of, of time and energy to be a support as well to someone that's really stepping into their their star mode and um, for both of you because this is a feedback loop because this is so unified and tied an energy comes out of both of you and this is what this wisdom is and this stop and listen is when you really um, become intimately entangled with someone in this kind of support and and feedback loop system you you become such a strong unit and the the concoction energy out of both of you the energy you take on as a pair is a king or muse of material and material inspiration just feeds into your life um, from both ends of this because of the kind of support and opposite end of the spectrum that you're on and the wisdom that you both can bring from from your opposite place it's like you know how to figure out how to balance that middle place and it just flourishes and just like this like blossoms with life constantly because you're always uh, um 
in a polar place of growth, but in a supportive, um, beautiful, harmonizing way. This is gorgeous, you guys. So just be sure that you're giving the support you need to someone in your life because uh, not only do they need it to step into their star, but you guys need it as your concoction of the muse of materials to bring material benefit to your combined life. It's beautiful. And if you don't know who this is that I'm talking about, this could be a month where you find a person that ends up being uh, in the long run, this type of relationship in your life. Okay, last area we are going to look at is your outer world role, whether that's career, learning like school or some role you've taken on for some other reason but that that is an outer you know outer world role so where are you building authority mastery excellence responsibility whale beautiful another sea creature tenderness show compassion and forgive what needs to be forgiven okay let's see what this has to do with Wow, the priestess. You have deep, deep energy. That intuition, um, which uh, that was down in, in the, the fruitfulness of your life that you're really starting to mature into, that's feeding up into this, this outer world position. You're really figuring out your mastery with it and really trusting your inner knowing. You're seeing what what is unseen and trusting what you see, trusting your inner sight, your knowingness um, with a, a depth that is filled with compassion, filled with tenderse, tenderness and filled with, uh, this is like ancient wisdom that you're channeling. Um, whether you have ancient roots on this planet or something ancient is channeling through you that has ancient wisdom this is very deep very rooted very very powerful and you're really finding your confidence as kind of this this intuitive priestess place night of intuition the firework the main on fire yeah um you're ready to expand into this as well and to really get creative with this and to step into, you're also stepping into something, your star as well in terms of this career. There is something very aged here, um, but at the same time exciting because you still do have this spring energy around you. I think this is like you're bringing something that's very ancient and wise from within you, like newly out and really feeling, newly feeling the power of it. But you're stepping into your star too in a, in a certain way. Um, let's see what this last card is. Ace of Emotions. But yeah, it's a new... It, it's still new, it's still spring energy, even though it's ancient and it's powerful and it's already hugely developed and honed. It's like you didn't know you had this, but it gets pulled out of you like a, a grand finale firework show that shocks you. And you're like, wow, I didn't know that those kinds of fireworks were possible. Like new, you know, they're always inventing new fireworks. It's like one that kind of takes you by surprise, but you feel that within you in terms of like a role you're taking on in the world. So even though it's like very, very deep, very developed, you hadn't seen it until now. It's never been pulled out. So it's still in this spring phase. It's still something new. And you're really feeling a deep alignment with your heart and this deep ability to start uh, putting your heart and your intuition and your uh, star capacity out into the world in a beautiful way. This is gorgeous. So yeah, both yourself and someone in your life, um, you know, in different ways, but in both really, really positive ways and exciting ways are, um, you know, it's a big month, big things happening. It's the, the go time to really step up to life and 
put yourself out there and um, support others that are rising as well. So yeah, this is where I'm going to leave you guys beautiful reading. If it resonated with you, the easiest way you can support me and my channel is a simple thumbs up. Also love reading comments if there were particular things that um, jumped out at you. And of course, if you are not yet uh, subscribed to the channel, please do so. I'd love to do more readings for you. All right. Happy August, you guys. I'll see you in another reading. Hello, Pile 4, and welcome to your August reading. Um, the card you have picked is so interesting, and it's a little deceiving from the title of it. This is the card that is going to represent sort of the main uh, overarching energy of your month in terms of the environment. So circumstances, events, mood, things that unfold around you. And this treading carefully card, sky above, lake below, despite how it sounds, this is a card that indicates that actually a lot of progress can be made this month. But it's progress that has to be done delicately. There's some sort of superior force to the force you wield that you are influencing. So it's sort of like a little bit like walking on eggshells or stepping through sleeping tigers or something. Um, progress can be made and you are influencing bigger things. You just have to take care with how you do it and know that like humor and lightness and um, sort of a, an, an elegance and a, uh, an ability to uh, be generous with people and and what's the word and find gratitude towards the bigger uh, forces that be that you're trying to influence um, there's using some grace, some lightness, some humor will go a really long way. If you're brash in the force of this greater force, that will bring back negative, um, that will sort of halt your, your progress. But progress can be made. It just has to be made in the right way and with the cognition that, that there is sort of a, a more powerful force you're you're trying to influence this month um, but I think you know mingling with greater forces can really open the doors to some big things if if we approach it in the correct way so it could be a really big month for you guys if if you arm yourself with the knowledge you need and the the willingness to kind of <laughs> know your place type of thing. Oh, I always mean to take this card out because it's ripped and I'm such an aesthetic person. I hate having a ripped card shown, but this is the card that came out and it fits. Eagle, you are rising above. You're seeing the big picture. You're seeing where you need to go. And you have the ability to clasp the sun in your claws. The sun being a greater force, you have the ability to pick it up and to wield it for yourself, but it has to be done delicately. It has to be done carefully, but it's going to, has the potential to really, really elevate your life. But this is the attitude you're coming in with. You know this deep within you. You know how to pr approach this just right. And the lightness, that air quality with the bird, um, ideas, elegance, an airiness, a light touch, I think these are strategic weapons to to keep your your eye upon. <laughs> okay, I'm also going to pick a goddess for your month to see who wants to step in as a guide for you. And due to them stepping forward may also give us a little bit more information about the month. Yeah, focused intention, Diana, um, kind of same as Artemis. 
Uh, keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target and you will make your mark. So you likely are coming into the month, yeah, with, with an aim. You know what you're wanting or how you're wanting to influence or what you're wanting from this greater force. You have the attitude of the eagle. You know how to do this. And Diana is with you, really honing your focus. You already have eagle eyes, but you also have a guide coming in to support you in this and keeping you focused, uh, keeping your, your thoughts, feelings, and actions really on the target. And yeah, you're going to make your mark by that. Beautiful. This is exciting stuff, you guys. Okay, so we're now going to go into sort of the meat of the reading and look at the cardinal directions, get some, some uh, cards for, for what's about to unfold in the month. So this first direction is all about self. Where is your energy level? What's your drive and motivation kind of oriented around? Okay, bear. You are the light. It is safe to step fully into your light. I love that because we've talked about the eagle, you coming in with the attitude of the eagle and your target is to, to pick up and wield the sun, the light. But what you need to know is you already have the sun within you. It's not as, as delicate as you think if you recognize uh, that y you're not so much of a lower influence than this other thing in reality. It's maybe just that this other influence thinks that they're much bigger and really has something you need. So it's just sort of like circumstantially. But you know, and I think you need to keep it with you that you already have the light in you. And because of that, you're safe wherever you step. Um, but do it like a bear coming out of hibernation, you know, or it's stretching, it's easing into things, you know, just ease into this. But you've got it. You've already got your light. Um, you just have to let this bigger influence know that you've already got it. <laughs> the magician, yeah, you guys are ready to manifest. You know you have the resources you need. You know what to do with these resources. You're focused. You're focused, focused. You've got the light. You know exactly what to do. It's really great. Page of materials. Uh, you're molding life in a beautiful new way. You have some fresh impulses, fresh insights coming through about how you want life to feel and look and uh, produce for you. And then five of materials. Oh, no, so three, sorry, three of materials. Okay, so this to me is this larger influence. Um, there, is, there is some delicate stuff here. I, I think you may have to, even though maybe you know this supposed greater influence, uh, isn't as great as it thinks in relation to your influence, but you need to play the part. You need to, if that's where they're coming from and you need something to influence something there or from something from that, uh, from this greater, greater <laughs> influence, um, you need to play the part and so even though you may see it differently of like who's where in a hierarchy, uh, you need to put your ego aside and just play the part and approach this delicately with focus, with lightness and a little bit of humor. Um, and it might take some humor because I think this greater influence has a bit of an ego thing going on, <laughs> whatever that. And I don't know that it's even a, a person. It might be a circumstance or a, a, I don't know what it is. For some, it might be a specific person, but it, it may not be a person, but there's something you need to keep some humor with um, that, that wants to be felt as bigger than it is. And 
for what you're needing to do this month, you need to allow that to be. <laughs> so, uh, but really you have, you have a lot going for you and manifesting ability is off the charts there. So your drive is, is on point this month. Um, just, just, uh, play along with certain egos or certain things that want to feel big or important. It's fine. Let them. <laughs> okay. We are now looking at the depths of your life. What is maturing? What kind of fruitfulness is coming in? What sort of projects might there be? Antelope, new pathways. Consider whether you are happy on your current path. So maybe that's why your drive and these environment, like maybe you're really trying to, uh, you, you see a new ability to manifest sort of a different direction for your life because certain things in your life feeling rooted and fruitful and mature are like, it's not happening to, to the level that you're wanting. And, but you're seeing an opportunity, you're seeing, and you're having the drive, you see the opportunity and you have the drive and the know-how to kind of switch gears a bit. But this is saying that uh, it is opportune time to look for like a different pathway. So that personal drive is spot on. It is, the time is right to kind of look for something new. Um, okay, two of emotions. The star, beautiful, and the hierophant, hierophant. Um, okay. Yeah, um, exactly, like something's clicking in, a different way of being, a new, something new that you're wanting, that you have your eye on, a focus that you have your eye on and you feel it in your soul, it's clicking. This is the right direction. It's a different direction. You're needing to change gears, but it's clicking so deeply inside you and you know exactly what to do with it. And this is a confirmation that you are completely on track. This is your star direction. Um, so yeah, do whatever you need to do, uh, bolster other people's egos, play to the position you're in, uh, even if you see it differently. Do what you need to do to secure this target because it is so aligned and it holds so much potential and it is a new hope for how you want to really feel rooted and grounded in life and um, the opportunity is here. And this is something, there's something why this works for you and why that you are a little higher on the influence scale than other people realize is because you have some personal instincts that you've honed within you that are very distinct and very personal to you. It's not something that can be learned or that has been learned from somebody else. It's not something that can be mentored or taught. This is your distinct rhythm and you've been paying attention to this and cultivating it. Something that's really distinctly you that you've really been developing and it's like this opportunity that has uh, is opening itself to you to help you switch gears, to use this to your advantage, to allow this personal instinct and command to s step into a place where there's potential for it, where it can really shine and really elevate your life. Um, but there's something delicate here. You're really needing to, yeah, uh, it's either like go through red tape, pander to an ego, step carefully in something. I don't know what it is. It's probably a little different for each of you. But this new pathway is, is right. This is confirmation. Whatever this new pathway you're seeing is, is where you're going to find your fruitfulness, your roots, your ground, your soils, your place of flourishing. So really great that you've identified it and you have what it takes to, to grab this opportunity, but just, yeah, um, tread lightly but with focus and determination. Okay, we are now gonna look at the relationships in your life. So this could be 
love relationships or any other one-on-one -on -one sort of the harmonies you create in relationships so uh, important one-on-one -on -one relationships so elephant grounding ground your energies and emotions deep into the earth I love it. So this feels like maybe you have very stabilizing relationships in your life. It may be a specific other or in general, the relationships you've been cultivating or that you have in your life right now um, are really supporting you in this kind of delicate yet focused yet exciting time. Yeah, I think there's a lot of, of grounding support here that wise they can clear some obstacles. Elephants are, are known for that, but like just solid, just solid and nurturing. Elephants are so nurturing and beautiful. Nine of inspiration. Okay. Whoa. Uh, the lovers reversed. Okay. I saw this in the last pile. There's something that you're needing to, um, there is either a relationship or generally some relationships in your life that have been very grounding for you and very um, providing a lot of feelings of security for you but they need you to step into that role for them now. There's some sort of flip happening in that capacity where some reflection is coming in and they are newly sort of trying to figure out who they are and what they want and suddenly you've come into this place of really knowing who you are and where you're going and so now you can because maybe you've you've been lost in that sense for a while and they've been very supportive but this flip is happening where you now have um because you are going to secure this light and this target and this thing that's going to be very fruitful for you and you're going to stand as the elephant now in relationships of knowing who you are, where you're going, and having the capacity and the resources and the bandwidth to be that grounding, stabilizing um, security blanket for others or a other. Um, so as they go into this time of reflection and kind of backtracking a little to find a different alignment with uh, within them to you know to me the lovers is is not so much about two people it's about finding our own harmony within ourselves how our yin and yang can work together and finding that deep commitment of of identity and higher knowing and higher self within ourselves that brings in beautiful relationships but but a person in your life or some relationships in your life are going into a review process with this and needing to rewire it a bit and you're stepping into strong confidence here and so now you can be that person that they've been for you and by switching places by having this feedback loop that is so supportive in this way um, it doesn't matter who's in what position Building relationships like this really bring um, an ability to expand, uh, whether it's, to me this feels more like love relationships or at least family, um, but this is, it brings a courage to be expansive in the way you think about life, in the way that you charge at life, in your ideals, in how you feel about what's right and justice and um, really being able to to step in, into life in, a, in a, just an expansive, beautiful way. So I really see this as like a very beautiful relationship or relationships that tend to kind of um, switch places from time to time in terms of who's being solid and who's sort of reworking something about themselves. And it's 
it's just a, a, a beautiful circular energy that, that gives you guys wings, that gives you guys high ideals and an expansive ability to take flight in life. Beautiful. Okay, let's look at the last direction, which is all about your role in the world. So whether that's um, taking on responsibilities of learning and schoolwork or your career or some other role in the world, um, but it has to do with the outer world. Okay. Kangaroo, courage, you are being tested. Have faith and stand in your truth. And I really feel like so much of these bigger overarching cards of the month are talking about this, this uh, place. Um, so, so yeah, uh, there's, there's a truth you have. You need to have faith. There is a little bit of a test with, with this supposed bigger influence, but um, yeah, it's like finding the courage, having faith, and standing in your truth, for sure. The truth, your truth is this target, you know. Ah. Temperance, beautiful. Love that. The devil. And the materials beautiful okay um, what I'm seeing is that you are going to in the month of August start to find a, a balance a, a way to come into moderation with your aspirations that really serves things well that really gets things flowing in your life and in order to really secure that and to get past um, whatever delicate situation this treading carefully is about, what you have to download and recognize and witness is there's some kind of attachment, some, some outcome, some... Uh, some reason why you're you're pushing an aspiration forward that is result driven rather than process driven and you need to let go of those a specific outcome or a specific re result in your drive you know it's right you know what you want but you just need to be in it um, you just need to trust that you know what you're doing trust yourself and trust that just being in the process is going to cultivate really beautiful, fruitful things and stop trying to look for a, a specific outcome. Like you can have targets, but, but don't be so attached to, um, you know, say your target is you're trying to uh, shoot a deer, and so any other animal that comes through, you you don't l sort of give the light of day to. But you're missing the fact that there's these huge elk also coming through, or that there's. Uh, 30 smaller somethings that you could have gotten and I'm not a hunter so I'm not really <laughs> talking about you know just as a metaphor um, but it's it sort of like the, it, there's many ways and many outcomes that are beautiful there's many ways to get to an outcome and there's many outcomes that are just as beautiful as one another and so these these targets you have, you need to, um, even though it's good to be really focused and really honed in and know what you're capable of and what you're doing and have confidence, you still need to keep your periphery vision open. You need to keep an open mind at the same time. Um, sort of like you have this hyper vigilance, but you need to balance it with a little bit of awareness too. 
so that you're not missing potentials that could be just as good or better or easier. Um, so it's sort of like, yes, have focuses, have aims, have targets, but don't be fixed. Allow some flexibility and allow yourself to enjoy the process and to find pleasure in the process rather than this constant expectation of an outcome um, that's always going to let you down or is impossible or, you know, it's just like finding a little bit more flexibility in, in awareness is going to lead you from this temperance that you've built, this courage and this temperance that you have into actually manifesting abundance, manifesting the movement of life and material and success. All it's asking for is just like a little bit of flexibility and enjoying the process rather than fixating on a result. Um, so that's, yeah, that's where I'm going to leave you guys. That's really a beautiful message. I don't want you to feel uh, like I down or like I've lectured about this. It's just a, a simple thing. You just have to see it once and then you'll get it like, oh, okay, yeah. Yes, I know what I'm doing. I understand my targets. I trust myself. Um, but be in the moment and be aware and I can bypass, I can get out of some sort of expected result and really manifest and produce in my life by being a little bit more flexible and aware um, because I have the flow, I have the rhythm, I have the intuition, the instinct, the, the know-how, the willingness that everything is in flow. You just have to, yeah, more awareness, more flexibility with it and it will just, everything's going to come together. Um, yeah, beautiful. So this is where I'm going to leave you guys for August. Gorgeous reading. I'm really excited for your August. Um, if you felt like this reading really resonated for you, uh, the easiest way you can support me is just a simple thumbs up. And of course, I love reading comments. I try to get to those at least once a week to kind of browse through them. And if you are not subscribed yet, please do so. I'd love to do more readings for you. And I will see you guys on another reading. All right. Happy August.